Here we have a Nintendo Switch that came in for no power. The console does not charge and does not power on. We already disassembled the board right here. Let's take a look and see what's going on and why this console is not turning on. We're going to start from the far right. Battery connector, Joy-Con, charging IC. And while at it, we can measure as we go along. Meter and diode mode. 1.1 voltage drop. And that's normal for this motherboard. No short. And no short. We're going to assume the charging IC is good. Charging connector looks factory. Everything is good. And we're going to inspect the connector from the inside. No bent pins, nothing like that. And then moving along, our M92 chip. And I see signs of possible corrosion or liquid damage. What we see here is not normal. Let's measure to see if we have a short. Measure here. Measure here. And those are the things I care about right now. We're going to assume our M92 is good. And we're going to assume our max chip here is good. Because we did not get a short on the BQ charging IC. And they are linked. Our SD connector looks good. Backlight, Joy-Con. LCD connector. And while at it, why don't we look at the LCD connector from the inside? because it's very common to see bad LCD connectors on switches. Somebody tries to insert the LCD flex cable and they end up damaging pins on the connector. We have many videos going over this. So far so good. I'm not seeing anything wrong on this side of the board. Let's flip the board and start from the far right. Oh, 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 what is this? Definitely liquid damage. But it's only this area, which is good. Let's continue with visual inspection. Make sure nothing else was affected. Probably we have a short on some of the caps that we see on the bottom. Most likely, look at the board. Very clean, very nice. All right, so we're going to focus on this area because that's the only thing I see wrong visually. Meter in diet mode. And let's test to see if we have a short. And we do not have a short. We do not have a short. Corrosion probably went under this SMD component here. Let me just reflow quick. Let me plug in the battery and test. Could that have possibly fixed the problem? Who knows? I plugged in a battery right here. And we're going to plug the charging cable. 12 volts, 0 0.6 amps. It should switch down to 9 volts. But, oh, right there. <laughs> it's fixed. What?
but it looks like it's going on and off. Went to 12 volts, down to 9 volts, which is perfect, but now the screen went to be on black. Let me try another battery. Maybe this battery is fully drained. Let's try this one. Nine volts, 0 0.2 amps. It's blinking. The amp meter is blinking. I mean, look at this. It's not taking a charge. It started by taking a charge. Let me disconnect the charging cable. Reconnect. Nine volts is perfect but it should be steady 9 volts. If you look here, it's going off. 9 volts, 0 0.1 amps, which is very low, and then it's going off. So the motherboard does have an issue. Maybe it's an issue with the M92 chip. We did see some corrosion on the chip. Somebody is speaking through our window. Hey, what's up, man? Questions? Okay, just give me a second. When you get a tag, I can take your time. Sure. Usually we ask customers to order and then come and pick up, but since you're here, I'll do it for you. What's up, man? How are you? I came all the way from Lingwood. A fan of our channel just came in and he bought some stuff, took some pictures. Very nice guy. He works in IT. And he just left. So let's continue working on this motherboard. I'm not sure if that's going to fix the problem, but I have a reason to believe that maybe we have a faulty M92 chip. We did see corrosion on the bottom here. So maybe the chip is not behaving as it should. And the chip is out. I mean, every day I'm working under this microscope, the V2 microscope, I'm amazed. Every single day, it doesn't get old. Just look at the clarity. Looks like I'm out of the M92 chips. Let me go grab some from inside. I keep those chips in the box next to me, but the box is empty, so just a minute. So I grabbed five pieces. You can buy those off our site. Like everything else, I see is flux, grinding pans, soldering stations, the microscope, thermal cameras. We are out of the thermal cameras right now, but we have a shipment coming in and a lot of people are waiting for them. The Unity is a very popular item and every time we get them in, they go out very fast. Same thing with the microscope, the grinding pen, and recently the NF dot mini soldering pen, very popular items. Okay, so let's grab a chip. And we're gonna solder that chip on the board. Hopefully that will fix the problem. right very nice and we're done we'll just keep those bridges as a decoration and we should be all good right no apply some flux because flux is your friend and we're gonna magically get rid of the bridges 
it's not going to be very easy for the caps on top, but we'll just give them a different treatment. We have to give those caps a different treatment. You know when they say, we're going to give you a nice treatment in jail? Which means they're not going to give you a good treatment. That's what it means. It's the opposite. So that's what we're going to do here. But we're going to get rid of the glare using our anti-glare light. Just an amazing light. I mean, this does not usually happen, but because I'm recording a video, the Cavs decided that they want to play games. We are the kings of playing games. So, no problem. Will that fix our problem? Battery connected. And we're gonna plug the charging cable and see what happens. Twelve volts, zero point six amps, and we want it to jump down to nine volts at a higher amperage. Let me try another battery. Okay, 9 volts at 0 0.6 amps, perfect. So the other battery was dead. Look at this. Look at this. It's steady at 9 volts, 0 0.6 amps. Wow, amazing. I'm going to give this to Big Boss to reassemble and test, and I'll be back to finish the video. And just before I give it to Big Boss, I was looking at this cap, and I thought, why not change it? It does not look good on one side, and I do not want to keep it even though it's testing good. So let's go ahead and remove it. And we have a donor board right over here. Let's take it out from here. and place it on the customer's board. Big Boss reassembled the switch, and the switch is working perfect, but I want to complete the video, so let's go ahead and plug the charging cable. The battery is low. You can tell the switch is on, but the battery is low. We can go to settings and increase the brightness. Where is the brightness menu? Let me just the brightness from right over here. All right, the switch is on and it's currently charging at 9 volts, 1.7 amps. So that's it, the job is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions and we'll do something else in the next video.